Two years ago, our community's foundation had just completed a strategic plan where we focused on gathering, growing, and granting, which were pretty much the standard roles of any community foundation. And as we embarked upon the next plan for our civic leadership activities, we had a series of convenings. All of the community conversations led to concerns around employment, economic development, and education. I think if you start talking to young adults and ask them, why do you leave the area? Their primary answer is, I don't have the opportunity locally. Civic Leaders Fellowship Program is an opportunity for our community's foundation, as well as the other funders, to put our resources together in a way that creates opportunities for our next generation of, of individuals who will lead the institutions in this region. Not only do young adults need to find employment, but in order to have successful communities, we need to have them engaged within the community. I needed summer work and I needed something that would give me experience in this field that I'm studying, which was English and journalism and writing. And since I, I really do love this area, I've grown up here and want to stay working in the area, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to find something in kind of a unique field without needing to leave the region. We wanted to try to find where there were opportunities that we could match a student's field of interest with a host that had a similar type of background for them. If it was someone that was in journalism, hopefully we could find a business that that's the type of an intern that they were looking for. The thing that really kind of gave me that boost towards this internship is uh, being involved in an organization called the FFA, or Future Farmers of America. And I'd always been very active in the FFA, and the FFA shows at the county fair, which is hosted and ran by the Extension Office in Jackson County. My current host now, John David, was the new Extension agent that year, so he saw me, and a couple others at the office saw me there, and they heard about this great opportunity, and they sent me an email about it and sent me an application. This allows them to put on a resume they have experience working for some type of a, of a business, whether it's a nonprofit, whether it's a, a business for profit, or governmental agency, it gives them an opportunity to put it on a resume that many individuals do not have. Before this summer, I had not ever stepped foot inside a courtroom, and this summer I've been able to see different hearings, a criminal trial, all different types of situations, and that's real life experience that they can't teach you in the classroom. Before the Civic Leaders Fellowship Program, I hadn't considered a job in Parkersburg. I kind of figured that there was nothing really of interest to me in the area and that, that I would need to go somewhere else for employment but I've gotten to meet a lot of really great business people in the area, a lot of people who've been very open to me and have extended their hands. I've learned a lot about the community. I've learned a lot about positions in the community that I didn't know existed. I believe it's June 29th. There was a uh, freak storm that happened to hit the whole state at the same time, knock all the power out to the state and surrounding states. We've never had anything like that happen to scale like it was that evening. And as soon as that happened, the Red Cross immediately I think it was three or four hours after the initial storm hit, we were already starting to have shelters and figure out how to provide services to the community that were really gonna be needed in the next couple of days following the storm. Every small community in, in the United States has the same problems with uh, you know, providing opportunities for young people to, to stay in their communities after they go away to college. And, and this uh, program by the Our Area Foundation and, and giving internships, giving them a reason to become involved in the community is one more step that would help them come back. I work in the development department for the city of Parkersburg. I collect information on our downtown business area Basically, I try to look for vacant storefronts or empty property in the downtown area and collect information on that so that a business interested in coming into the downtown area, we have information where we need it. Many of our board members, as they saw this project in action, they saw the excitement of the 14 young folks who were here during the summer as these young people were out and about in the community. And it really made them feel good that they had actually spotted an issue, identified the issue, looked at the inputs to the problem, and applied some resources to try to address that problem. It's really taught me a lot about being an adult. Working at the Boys and Girls Club, I've learned that you, you become an adult when you start to give, when you become more of a faucet than a bucket that takes the water. You have to give, and that's when you become an adult. Put your money on our next generation. Put your money behind these students, because these will be tomorrow's leaders. These will be the folks heading up our businesses, our nonprofits, our government institutions. Our next generation is worth investing in. 
there's no better place to put your money. Generosity to me is a very hopeful act, and in this case, by contributing to the Civic Leaders Fellowship Program, it said that our community has hope for its future. As we pass this along to the next generation, we're passing the next generation a legacy that's worth building on.